when we were out and about doing exhibitions like the BBC Good Food Shows, the one question we get asked all the time is how are we cooking our black pudding? So I'm going to show you exactly how we would cook our black pudding. Firstly, we need a couple of slices. So, that's thick enough. And at this point, I'm going to straight away take off the skin. We don't need the skin in the black pudding. It will keep its shape, and you know how big a nightmare it is to try and take that off once it's been cooked. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put the black pudding in a dry frying pan. That's important for us. It works well and it means that the, the actual black pudding will start and crisp up, caramelise around the edges and still stay nice and soft and gooey in the middle. There's enough oil in there to do the cooking process, it doesn't need any more. And it is already cooked, so what we're really doing here is reheating it till it's piping hot. If you overcook the black pudding, as you can see here, it goes really, really hard. So instead of being nice and soft in the middle and caramelised around the edges, it is like an ice hockey puck. Right, now that it's ready, let's see if I've done this correctly. If so, it should be nice and crisp in the top and the edges, which it is, so that when we cut into it, it should be nice and soft and gooey. And I think I've got it right. Now, my favourite way to eat black pudding is sadly in a roll. I love a roll with black pudding and sometimes a wee bit brown sauce. But also, it works really well just in a simple green salad. It works beautifully in uh, bread. So I've got friends who make it into bread dough and it comes through there. Fantastic. It is such a versatile product. But simply cooked like this, just eat it. <laughs>